there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Now for the big mama, bipolar disorder. This is a mood disorder with reoccurrent cycling periods of extreme lows with depression, followed by extreme highs with acute mania. So during depression, clients have a very low mood, low energy, and low motivation, with a high risk for suicide, followed by the opposite period of acute mania, high energy, hyperactivity, elevated mood, and even aggression with violence. So the memory trick for bipolar, think of bi like a bicycle, two wheels for two moods, the highs and the lows, that cycle like a bicycle in bipolar. So for depression, just think of a declined mood. And for mania, think of the M, more energy that is manic, like a maniac. Now a quick side note here, the types of bipolar disorder. We have bipolar 1, so just think one episode of mania that lasts over one week or a need for hospitalization. Now, bipolar 2, we have two episodes of milder hypomania, which can last longer. And very lastly is the cyclothymia. We have milder lows and milder highs that cycle over a period of two years. Now, when the cycling of depression and mania happens over four times within a 12-month period, this is known as rapid cycling. So, Hesse mentions four or more mood episodes in 12-month period. The patient is said to be rapid cycling. And ATI mentions five acute manic episodes in one year. Yes, five is more than four, so rapid cycling. Now, in terms of the causes and risk factors, the cause is unknown, but what does play a big part is genetics. So having a family member with bipolar, then clients are 10 times more likely to have bipolar too. And a big key term here, is SSRIs can trigger a manic episode. So a little side note, SSRIs are those antidepressants that we give to patients during depressive episodes. Now for signs and symptoms, most exams focus on the acute mania. So just use the memory trick, mania. M for more energy and mood swings. The key terms here is euphoric energy. Clients will present as impulsive and even have grandiosity with hallucinations and delusions of grandeur. Clients typically think they are bigger than life and have supernatural powers, kind of like they're Superman. Now, A is for agitation. So we always set limits and have a structured environment. N is for nonstop talking and even flight of ideas with colorful, bizarre clothing choices. Very interesting. And I is for insomnia. The clients can't sleep for days because of all this energy. And lastly, A is for attention span that is poor. Clients are easily distracted, so a big intervention is to reduce stimuli. Now, ATI mentions symptoms of manic behavior. More talkative than usual, easily distracted, and intense need for activity. Yes, everything is more with mania. Now, Hesse mentions, Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to type simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube into your search bar and join well over 1 million students hacking their nursing school system.